now we're going to get a little intro to dodgeball strategy from Mr. Daniel Feinberg. Thanks, guys. Uh, so uh, why don't we talk a little bit about the opening? It's a crucial moment in the dodgeball tournament. Obviously, we have one team lined up here, another team lined up here, and the balls are all in the middle, exactly equidistant between the two teams, which means that if they run and get to the ball first, this team is vulnerable. But if they don't make it there first, they're very vulnerable. And there's a lot of different strategies. Uh, let's take a look at the Tigression Regression. Uh, the Tigressians last year had this really interesting play where they all ran out as if they were going to get to the balls and realized very quickly that they were not fast enough and very quickly all circled off and regressed back to this corner here. A pretty strong strategy, it ended up becoming very difficult for this team, which had taken all the balls at that point, to hit any of these small women stored in the uh, bottom right corner of the court. Uh, and while they did not win that game, they certainly came up with a strong advantage in the beginning. Uh, this also gives you a great position for catching the ball. It's very tough to catch the ball if you're up here. Why don't we draw a dotted line here? We could call this area the danger zone. You don't want to be caught in the danger zone without a ball. You could use the ball for deflection, but that's a tough strategy. These balls are tricky. Now up here, we can look at the strategy from last team's uh, last year's Smashcraft Heroes uh, attack. They pretty much zerged the uh, starting line. All of them just stayed in the danger zone for the entire game. Really an aggressive attack. Uh, and every time a ball was thrown in, they would just try to knock it up and catch one of them uh, to get the teams out. And it became a real, real mess. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, the Tigression regression type strategy does have a strong advantage against the uh, Zerg strategy because it really does leave them vulnerable. And uh, now we're going to go to Clayton Rathel for some, uh, some good old hints. All right, guys, I'm here to tell you a little bit about dodgeball. You ever played? I don't think so. Not the way that I've played. Dodgeball strategy comes down to one crucial component. What's the crucial component, you ask? Oh, thank you for asking. Get more people on the other team out than on your team. Get out. Get out. If that doesn't make sense to you, too bad. You will never learn dodgeball. Never! Okay, so here's the deal. I have never seen a team win that still ha that's, that gets all of their teammates out on their team. I've never seen that happen. Not once in the history of dodgeball. So what does that mean? If you have all of your players out, 0% chance. That's a 0% right there. That's like the chances of me hooking up with my 6th grade science teacher. 0% chance. All right, now I know what you're thinking. This is a little bit crazy, right? This whole game of throwing balls at each other, maybe, maybe you don't want to throw balls at each other. Well, if you do that, if you just decide to sit on the sidelines, guess what's going to happen to you? You are going to get a quick ball to the face. You're going to have to have face surgery, and the rugby team uh, referee person is going to whistle and, and point at you, and you're going to be so sad. Someone's probably going to buy you a, a Valentine's Day card next year that says, remember when you got hit in the face with that dodgeball? That sucked. I don't love you. That's right. So, unless you are willing to go out and give it your all on the dodgeball court, I don't care how much skill you have, how much athleticism you have, you're not going to go anywhere in this game. See this diagram? Meaningless. Meaningless. Because you have to pull from your heart. Pull from that inner demon inside yourself and tell it to attack like a tiger or a lion or a liger or a, a giraffe on steroids or uh, some sort of like praying mantis that's been genetically mutated so it's larger than most of the human population. You have to be like one of those fucking things. And that is what is going to drive you in this competition. Thanks, guys.